mode. How to generate an online income. Hello, everybody. Gil here from your daily afternoon session. Welcome to those that are uh, just jumping on board. Hopefully, we got uh, some nice little navigation uh, and better uh, <laughs> go to webinar functionality here today. And uh, you should be uh, seeing my screen here shortly. I just hit the play button that should pop up. We've got our backup recordings here going for you guys. So, for those of you that are part of our group coaching and are um, uh, maximizing our co uh, done for you content uh, creation aspect. Um, we got the recordings going, so do not worry. All right. Um, hopefully you guys uh, do see the screen here and uh, I'll go ahead and share the webcam. This is what got us stuck earlier. Let's see if it's going to work. Oh, I think it actually just worked um this time around so that is fantastic uh let's go ahead and hear from our co-panelists and the group coaching component here which is spearheaded by steve clutch and our ever present lovely and energetic uh, miss lauren lauren you there yeah i love the intros <laughs> right? thank you just depends on uh, you know how awesome my workout is and how uh <laughs> <laughs> Whatever uh, comes to mind there. But good to see you guys. Uh, fantastic. Today we're going to have um, a, a nice look over your shoulder. Whatever you've got in front of you on your website, pull it up and let's start working on it here um, together. Uh, Lauren's actually gearing up for some live workshops here um, in the next uh, next couple of weeks, which is pretty awesome. So if you guys, once again, you know, uh, we're the type of group or team that uh, does uh, has local events you can reach out meet us right obviously if you're in our backyard if you're not flying to town let's hang out um, <laughs> we are going to be doing uh, um, live uh, major events every 90 days catering to our business and international clients um, Lauren how many participants did we have um, for the last uh, event and I think it was in Vegas uh, well, where they had it right yeah that event I want to say there was about 150 or so um, maybe slightly more. Nice, nice, nice. So about a hundred. And that was a fantastic event. Okay, so every ninety days we're gonna have a nice little workshop again, catering to our business owners. I am uh, really excited for that since it, um, you know, it puts my business in a position where I have a ninety-day cycle. Okay, I have up, I have a time to build my list. I have a time to promote. I have a time to, you know, send and work my email autoresponders promote it for a big event, right? Get some, uh, get a nice chunk of revenue from that particular uh, event or launch and um, gear up for it and have a regular cycle um, going on every 90 days. So welcome. If you guys can go ahead and confirm our audio and video, uh, do let us know. Steve, go ahead and jump on board. Say hi to everybody. I think you are dialed in your office today or decided to work from home. Yes, I am. I am at the office with ah, sandals. Nice. At the office with sandals. Good for you. No socks. No so no <laughs> socks. It, don't even don't even no. don't even go into the socks conversation uh, with Steve. I'm pretending I'm in San Diego today. Uh, yeah, the San I know. Diego. Kids are outside swimming. It's lovely here. I know like back east they just got snow. I'm like, wow, what a concept. <laughs> Nuts. All right. Well, let's do this, guys. So let's jump right into the, uh, the, today's session. Lauren, any important updates or reminders for everybody before we uh, transition and start working a couple sites? And I'll talk some free traffic strategies, uh, particularly zeroing in on some of our members in the group coaching. I see some regular faces like Anthony, Kelvin, Toya. And so um, I wanted to uh, update them on clear action steps that they can do from a free traffic standpoint. So anything on yeah, your end for our group coaching first? Everything's good. I think, yeah. So if we want to hold off on the little solo ad thing and finish it off, because I think a lot of people are now interested in solo ads. They're more, you know, they're using the vendors that you had mentioned and things like that. Um, so then we can kind of get them their feet wet and then we'll continue and uh, wrap that up later on. Once they actually are ready to start placing it, then we'll kind of fiddle around with how to do the offer and the emails and things like that. 
Awesome. That's right. Mm -hmm. We we put we put you guys on a screeching halt. Some of you are ready to start <laughs> buying and you know dropping. I know you know dropping some uh, uh, big money into some of these paid traffic. Which again, that's not how we roll here. We'll start out with some small campaigns. You want to test it and make sure that uh, when you do go high volume or when you do put more marketing into that funnel, uh, it's going to convert well and um, generate positive results for you. And it's in the best possible position for you to succeed uh, as you build out this income generating uh, website. Okay, so where are we at today uh, in terms of my site? As you know, I mean, I'm working on my site here uh, whenever I do hop on board um, here with the group. We're doing this on uh, an extremely part-time uh, basis, um, but we got our main, uh, main sections here filled out and taken care of. Now, when somebody lands on my site, uh, we give them the opportunity to, you know, where do I start? Well, you're going to start here at the 101 DIY do it yourself. Now there is a detailed version of how you can get started building an income producing website. And if you want the encyclopedia version of uh, how it all works, the different parts of a website, how revenue is going to be generated. Um, different types of marketing and uh, just the nitty gritty, right? So it's like you go to the car lot and you hang out all day um, and uh, learning how, you know, a car is made, the different parts, or you go to a factory and you take a factory tour, all right? So this is like the factory tour right here of how a car is made. And in this case, um, we're talking about a website, right? Um, so it is a detailed walkthrough version that people will, our, our subscribers and viewers can jump on board I have a simple little capture mechanism here on the bottom. Again, nothing fancy, but you know it's a work in progress. Now there is a length, uh, there is a short version. I am uh, the type of person that likes to ready, fire, and then aim, um, and um, balance that with uh, with my training and, and education. But I will immediately apply and take action. So for those of you that are looking for the immediate start, or what I like to call the quick start challenge. Um, there are concrete action items where you can get your website up and running in under an hour. Okay. If you aren't quite sure what to talk about, start a blog or a website about your journey to success or your financial freedom. Okay. Very catchy stuff. You can take it in any way, which direction you can be an investor. You can be a fitness trainer slash on my way to success. You can be a chemist slash on my way to success. You can be a pilot um, slash on my way to success. And you're going to follow a very simple format as you create these contents and daily posts. What are you learning today? What are you applying in terms of marketing or training? All right. And uh, talk goals every now and then. Okay. But at the very least, you should be day, take, uh, doing daily activity, revenue generating activity to move your respective businesses forward. These posts don't have to be one hour, three hours long. There can be shorter posts um, and instructional videos. And allow me to demonstrate here from one of our active members who just actually created and produced um, his own little walkthrough video. So again, it's another type of video uh, uh, or, or post or content that you can create. So we've got a, a, a member here by the name of uh, Anthony Rudolph, who's participating in this, um, uh, in this uh, web series of building an income producing website. And he put together a four minute video on how he uses Google Voice for his real estate investing company or business. All right. Uh, if you notice on here, he's got connect with ant at getresponse.com. So he's already got his autoresponder, you know, tagged and built in there. It's got contact information here uh, in the description. Okay. And um, nicely done. Okay. Already gotten 19 views, two, uh, two thumbs up so far. This video was just posted. When was the original post on this bad boy? Hmm. I don't see it. I don't know what's going on. Um, transcript, no, add to, no, share, no. Hmm. What, oh, here we go. Published on April 16. It was staring at me right in the face. Funny how that happens, right? When we're always looking for an answer, and it's just staring right at us. All we had to do is read. Um, so it was published on April 16, 19 hits so far. So for an investor or people who are interested in real estate investing that need to bootstrap a little bit, and you can't afford the couple hundred dollar 
phone system, right? Google Voice is free. Ants is giving value to the marketplace, showing people how to get started here on the internet, flipping houses and using free tools. So you can have little instructional videos uh, at your disposal um, as well when you create and post your daily content. Now, once again, our group coaching and our accountability partners get access to the replay sessions where you'll be able to post those as content on your website to provide value, um, and you can chop them up and use them as lead magnets, all right, which again is pretty awesome. So that takes me to the uh, second component of my website, okay, where we are working and have built out some of our basic offers, okay. I have an example here for those of you that are in the real estate space um, who are looking to do deals or uh, generate uh, affiliate commissions from real estate investors. I had a very interesting conversation. Uh, with somebody yesterday on how he has spent eight months um, attempting to wholesale properties or uh, do a real estate transaction or deal. That's how we get paid as investors when we do deals. Um, and at the end of those uh, you know, eight months, he still hasn't gained any traction, which is tough, right? And um, you know, I was telling him, first of all, if you are, uh, you know, it, with any business that you build, you got to do some marketing for it. And he was doing marketing, except the marketing he was doing wasn't very effective in his local marketplace or area, right? Now you can generate leads online, even in real estate. And the beauty of that is three, you know, two, three, four, five, six months down the line for building out a website. Okay. At least you have a digital asset, which you can go around and, uh, and sell, Okay, to, so that you can break even for the last eight months of operation if you decided to leave that particular industry or move on. Or you can monetize it because now you're generating leads in other areas and doing it with an extremely um, uh, on a limited budget. For example, next week, I'm going to do um, paid traffic sources uh, and I'm going to set a five dollar budget. All right. So for five bucks, we're going to see how many leads I can generate. Um, using Facebook. So that's coming your way. Uh, I'm also going to be showing you how I'm using images to my advantage uh, on my marketing pieces. You got to ask yourself why, you know, if you're putting out pay per click campaigns or if you're going to do marketing, okay, the image does play a huge factor. Now, if you know that a particular image is trending, then that might be a good image to use because that's what the marketplace is sharing. It's getting a lot of interaction and activity. So I'm gonna show you how I use that to my advantage and some of the other tools that we implement to get that done, okay? So we've got our basic offers on here. I showed you guys an example. So when they click on it, it opens a new menu. I want them to open, um, I want it to go to a, a separate window that will open that way, um, they stay on my website or they can go back to my website. So even if they decide to not take the offer or um, not move forward on that marketing package, then that's okay, right? These packages and offers will apply directly to you and whatever company you are promoting. If you're part of our group coaching, then you're already, um, uh, you already have a particular niche and you, uh, by default, you're building out a financial freedom blog or website. So it's um, just follow along here step by step and apply it directly to your website. Okay. Now, a uh, good question yesterday, Gil, on your platinum and diamond coaching, any particular reason why you don't have any active links? Uh, number one, I ran out of time yesterday on yesterday's uh, session, so I wasn't able to update those. But what I am going to be doing for the um, for the platinum and diamond coaching, basically any high end coaching products. Okay. Uh, and high end, I'm saying five, 10, 15, 20 K in coaching, um, whether it's group coaching or in the form of one-on-one -on -one coaching. Okay. Uh, there are companies, affiliate programs out there, which will pay you, uh, 50 to a hundred percent of these big ticket items. Okay. Which I think is absolutely phenomenal. Now, not all offers are created equal. Neither are all the vendors that you will find out there in the marketplace. So I only focus on promoting uh, offers, programs, mastermind communities, uh, courses, tools that I have personally purchased, gone through myself, applied so that I can make an accurate 
uh, recommendation, description, or, or review, right? Uh, I do mass marketing. I love it. I love aggressive marketing. But at the same time, you got to be ethical. You got to be mindful and, um, and make sure you're delivering good content, right? You're not just putting out junk or promoting um, bummer stuff out there. So what I'm going to do for my coaching program, and this is based on uh, recent trends and um, what's been most effective for anybody that's promoting high-end coaching programs, um, they do what we call an application form format, right? So here's an app, here's one uh, an example of a coaching program where they claim to be able to generate 50, 80,000 net profits per month by just adding one extra deal. I mean, that's a killer headline, right? Um, they're advertising this on Facebook, but you have to apply. And so the application model allows you to capture information, get an idea of who you're talking to prior to the consultation, and make sure that this is a good candidate for your program. All right. I don't want you guys taking 10, 15, $20,000 payments from people uh, if they are not a good fit for that program or if they have to go on a tuna and cracker diet uh, in order to survive <laughs> up until their business uh, has either broken even or is now profitable. So I'm going to use the application uh, model or format for my platinum and for my diamond coaching program since they're bigger ticket items. There's a lot more questions, and I want to hear what these people are saying, what their objections are, so that I can create content and videos to answer those questions or update my website to streamline my sales process and my workflow. So when you first start marketing, you got to talk to whoever customer is willing to give you the time of day and may seem like they're willing to buy from you, right? Um, over time, once you get better at answering questions, you know what objections that they have, then you can go ahead and start to add uh, frequently asked questions to your sales pages. Um, and uh, for example, uh, this one right here, right? Still have some questions? Click here to get the answer. Click here to watch the group coaching overview. So frequently asked questions are answered to help improve your sales process. So I will be using an application format for my bigger ticket items and coaching. Now, those of you that are just getting started, um, you will not be able to coach anybody. Uh, I don't recommend it. Um, my, we have a nice little guideline <laughs> in my mastermind group. Um, if you're going to be teaching anything, you better be clearing over 20K a month in whatever model, system, niche um, in order to have credibility and, um, and just do business the honest right way, right? And you want to be passing on good information uh, as opposed to, you know, because there are people out there that will fake it. Believe it or not, right? I found out the hard way. There's actually real estate celebrities selling courses or products that don't do deals. They, you know, the last time they did the deal was in the 80s and they're still selling courses and products, um, but they stopped doing deals. And uh, for me, I, I have a little bit of a disconnect with that type of um, marketing or promotions. I mean, that's like saying, you know, I would you ever get on a you know on a, on a on a plane with a pilot that hasn't flown since the '80s, but he claims he's licensed, or you know, a driver that uh, isn't licensed to drive a truck, and you're riding in the truck. I mean, you know, you want to make sure you're working with the right people at the end of the day, and vice versa, right? Vice versa. So for those of you that are just getting started, the uh, the high end coaching programs that we talk about. The fulfillment or who's going to be doing this is the comp is another vendor or another company or another coach other than yourself. So don't ever position yourself as the main coach, right? You can talk about these high end programs and the benefits of it if it's something that um, they can benefit from, but never claim that you are the main person, right? It's okay to say, hey, I'm just getting started out, right? I'm just getting started out, but I believe in my victory. I'm moving forward, okay? I may be struggling right now, but I know I'm going to make it happen. And you uh, and um, and you look you look at this through the lens of that you can do this. Sometimes it seems a little bit overwhelming, and and even that happens to me. I'm like staring at the screen, racking my brains. Um, and so you know, it happens to everybody, even to me, even to some of the best entrepreneurs, and um, you know the ones that are, you know, highly successful and doing well. So I'm using an application format on here now. Let's talk free traffic, uh, building online uh, credibility, and expanding your networks. Now, 
Uh, Mr. Rudolph, this is gonna apply directly to you. Uh, Pat says, can you post the link for the membership sign up? Thanks. Pat, uh, we'll get that one over to you. Wanna make sure uh, you do have access to the link and you get a good overview of how the programs uh, will work. So we'll make sure we get that out to you. Uh, if we can have our panelists and organizers type in the chat line, letting me know you guys um, can get Pat, uh, Mr. Pat M that info, that would be fantastic. All right, Mr. Rudolph, the first strategy I'd like to talk about here in terms of building your online traffic and online credibility is what I like to refer to as the forum strategy. I participate in several different forums um, in the internet, uh, on the internet, uh, in the real estate industry um, or market or niche. Now, why do I focus on real estate as one of my markets? That's what I do full time, nine to five. It is a genuine interest of mine. I've always been very passionate about it. Um, I just like to approach real estate uh, flipping or investing from a, a more creative standpoint and leveraging the internet and effective marketing. Right. Um, so this is one of the forums that I have been uh, participating in. And how do you participate in the forum? Well, you'll type qu questions are a great way to get your jump start on these forums. So, Mr. Anthony Rudolph, um, we hopefully you will. I'm going to type in this link so that you guys would get access. Or if you're not on it already and you are in the real estate space, I encourage you to participate uh, in this particular forum uh, to build your credibility. OK, and get some hits. Get You want people to start sending you invites or expanding your Facebook network. Um, fast forward. OK, 30, 60, 90 days from now, the larger your Facebook network, the more effective your marketing campaigns will be. OK, and so that's a little bit of clue. I always build up on every little step that I do. It's a foundation. It's a process. There's a there's a sequence um, to it. Uh, I don't open a pipeline um, and have nothing going on on the back end or I'll open a marketing channel and we can't scale it or build it. OK, so I want to give you guys uh, effective tips that you can apply, which will be applicable and have benefit to you 30, 60, 90 days from now. So you'll go on a forum such as wholesaling houses full time. You'll start to type in questions. The newer, the newer, the newbie, in, uh, the more entry level of the question, generally the more activity you will get, right? There's a lot of people claiming to be experts, wanting to get their two cents in, and that is okay, right? What you want to focus on is trying to get, get a buzz around your post, get as many answers. So you can ask questions like, hey, I talked to this, uh, to this particular homeowner, here's what they said. How do you guys handle that, right? Or um, here's one that I typed in earlier today. Hey everyone, uh, can anybody recommend any investors in the following markets? Ohio, Oklahoma, North Carolina. Uh, I just posted this earlier today, about three hours ago. I've already got 14 comments. I've got interaction. I've got people, you know, hey, we want to work with you or we know of this investor making referrals and um, we've already got three likes on it. Okay. This I started doing this a long time ago, even before I had built a name, a reputation, or somewhat of a, uh, a buzz and a following uh, in the real estate space, even before all that. And I'll prove it to you guys here in a second. If you go on search this group, you can type in my, my username or my name. And Yeah, because this is stuff we actually do, guys. And there's, hold on, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry to everybody wearing headphones. You just got a killer wake-up call. Um, deals, commission-only VAs. All right, so I have been posting in this forum for a very, very long time. Every suggestion that pops up on here means that I have either commented I've answered somebody's question. I've helped them out. I've made a referral. I've generated some buzz or participated on here. And um, if you notice, I'm more or less on here, April 10, April 11, March 31. I'm on here on a regular basis. Um, I could make a case that I'm on here practically every day posting something. Okay. And this also gives me clues as to what type of training I can do or what the marketplace needs right? 
Um, we do regular real estate training um, webinars. It's Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. And so I like to keep a close pulse on what's going on in the marketplace. And um, that way our content is relevant. And you can go back all the way back for as long as you have time and available um, to, to, to see how long I've been posting stuff. And um, this was back in December. I'll even post images on here. Contracts, deals we're doing, you know, stuff to show we are active. All right. So Mr. Anthony Rudolph, definitely recommend you get on this particular forum uh, so that you can connect with some of these other investors. All right. Now, this is an example of a forum, um, 8,949 members, a ton of eyeballs on it, a lot of activity. So you want to go into a forum with a lot of participation and with a lot of activity. All right. Uh, another content creation tool that I rec can recommend from the forum strategy, copy every single question on there that you see for the last two weeks. Okay. You now have content for the next two weeks. Do a video or an article post answering those questions. If you don't have the answers to them, find an expert who will or um, get feedback from other specialists in the industry. And guess what? We happen to know some of those people since we are doing deals in real estate. Um, so this is a great uh, forum to participate, network, network with. You want to ask questions. You want to answer. You want to give suggestions. You're always playing a neutral tone. Um, some of the conversations can get pretty heated. Like I mentioned, there's people out there that, all they like, I mean, it's, that's how, that's what they enjoy. The attention, the spotlight, you know, and their way is the right, just let that stuff go. I mean, we're not focusing on that right now. And, and the whole branding thing that would come naturally, um, as you share good content. Okay. So here's another form that I would, um, uh, recommend that you guys participate in. If you are in real estate, um, it's got 1500 members. This one, we only started less than a year, uh, several months ago. This was a totally brand new from the scratch forum, um, that we had put together. And, uh, these are investors that, uh, definitely any new member that you see go on here. And this is my tip, especially for you accountability members, uh, go on here and reach out to every single member, welcome them. Make sure they know they have a 9 a.m. webinar that they can access. Let them know that there's files and contracts available in the forum. Okay. Provide content, help them out so that they can add you to your Facebook network. And when you run your ads, okay, like I mentioned, we're going to use this in the ads. The more people you have connected to you and they have similar interests and topics, the more targeted your ad. Okay. So if you are connected to over 5,000 real estate investors, if you place an ad, you can just have it focus on 5,000 dedicated real estate investors. If you're promoting, um, uh, I was talking to somebody earlier, baking, okay? She's going to go into the baking niche. And if you're promoting ba you know, baking products, uh, instructional videos, maybe you're making your own cookbook someday. I don't know. Go crazy with it, right? Um, if you had a dedicated 500 people who are interested in baking, you can focus just on those 500 people, have that ad continually follow those 500 people around, and you know that they're interested in the baking industry. You're offering something complimentary. You're not simply just offering, you know, uh, you're, not, uh, you're not targeting an audience that isn't captivated, that isn't interested, um, uh, because that would just lead into lower conversions. Are we clear on the forum strategy with everybody, right? So again, even if you're brand new, that is okay. When I was first starting out, you should see how hilarious and ridiculous some of my posts are. I was just answering the most newbie, um, amateur type questions on there. But it's funny because again, you get all these people that claim to be experts or are, are you know, kicking butt and doing very well and successful. They jump at the opportunity to answer questions and it just creates a buzz around your post. Now, a couple of strategies that I use to continue to beef up and get more network connections. For example, um, today I probably have at least 10 people to confirm and I'm constantly getting people adding me to their Facebook network, right? So that's where you want to get to, to the point where they are adding you to their network and you you don't have to proactively go after and try to, you know, send them an invite. You want people getting, you know, inviting you. 
Okay. So one of the ways that I do this, uh, if you notice in my name, it's Gills Commission Only Virtual Assistants, VAs, right? Now in the real estate industry, um, I know virtual assistants is one of the sexiest, hottest, most sought after topics out there. Okay. Because not everybody can do it. They don't know where to start. It's hard enough to flip a house. Okay. Now they got to focus on hiring somebody and outsourcing. And that applies with any industry in general. And so I put a little tag here in my name that has a little, that talks a little bit about what I do. Okay. And gets people curious. And I get people asking me all the time, what's the deal with this whole commission only virtual assistance program that you offer? And I said, great. I'm glad you asked. When can we get on a phone call and I can talk more about it? Okay. And then at that point, once we've, I've secured an appointment, I will drive them to my website where they will take a look at our coaching programs, at our marketing programs, get more feel for what's going on there. So by the time I talk to them, you know, they'll either cancel the appointment if they're not interested, right? Or we'll move forward with the appointment. But I know that this is somebody that's, they're pre-screened. They viewed the content, they're interested, they want to do business with us. Makes sense? Hopefully that's clear to everybody that's following along so far. Now, I don't recommend you ne you necessarily copy my name on here, especially if that doesn't apply to you. I have a real estate marketing company. We do provide commission-only virtual assistance, uh, but you can type something else on there that's pretty catchy. Virtual wholesaler, right? Um, Gil flips houses in other territories um, type of username. Um, get creative with it. Or if you don't want to change it on there, maybe just put something in, you know, add something to the name so it's a little bit catchy and it stands out above everybody else's okay and so on a regular basis uh hold on let me just reply to our panelists on here please check the chat box what was i talking about Forum strategy. Are we all clear on the forum strategy? Just want to make sure you guys get that. Now, also, if you are in our forum, okay, as you see here, we have pending requests for people to get in. We update this every two to three days um, to let members in. That way you have time to, again, welcome these members, uh, get them involved in the group. And um, that's how I work my way, uh, you know, from an 8,000 member forum into being able to branch out create my own forum and have people requesting to join. This is a closed group. We do not send invitations to it. And um, now we're able to, you know, we're building a network just solely on referrals, getting people, uh, inviting people over. Okay. Now, if you are uh, part of our group coaching and you are using the uh, how to make money online niche slash real estate investor stuff, that's if you're promoting our marketing uh, products or services or our group coaching component, right? Then that just makes your life a whole lot easier because we already have the dedicated content and training so that your site constantly renews. Uh, and we're actually building out these different real estate products so that you guys would have other things to promote in addition to what we'll be releasing here um, as part of this series or session. Okay. All right, so we have no idea then. <laughs> I'm talking to my uh, my team here in the background, trying to navigate some of these issues or questions that's coming their way. All right, awesome. Um, outside of that, let me see here. Uh, let me type uh, respond to one of the questions. Please check your questions, guys. I just responded to a couple of them here right now. Some of you guys are having audio issues. The major, the rest of the group is, is, is okay. They're hearing it pretty clearly. So I think they are good to go on their end. All right. Uh, Mr. Steve Clutch, where are you on your website? How are things going? Any, uh, any roadblocks uh, to getting the rest of the site assembled and put, up, uh, put together? Um, no, actually, well, I just stole your uh, your picture you have on your homepage, uh, so I just put that up while we were on the session. <laughs> All right, so you were able to update the logo. Fantastic. Uh, anything else um, uh, holding you back or uh, you need a clarification on? 
Um, no, I think the next thing that I need to do is uh, use the lead pages thing. So that's my next step uh, for working on some pages. And then I was just working on an audio for a testimonial I wanted to put on the site as well. Very nice. That's actually going to be on my checklist of things here to pan out. Um, testimonials. Some of you guys do not have testimonials. You're just starting out with your first company, your first business, your first uh, entrepreneurial endeavor. So the testimonials that you'll be putting on there, you know, they obviously aren't going to be talking about your track record in business. You just got started, right? Um, and that's okay. Again, you want to be authentic. You want to be real. Um, so the testimonials that you can put on there, you can put more character uh, based testimonials. Um, chances are you do have family, friends, previous employers, other uh, people you've networked with um, or worked with. Maybe it can be in a charity, a team, an organization. Basically, uh, you can gather and source uh, character testimonials um, from people that are close to home and gradually expand uh, from that point. But at least this way you have some testimonials. Also, depending on the product and services that you'll be promoting, um, there will be testimonials uh, available for you. Again, these are successful testimonials, case study after case study after case study of people that have gone through the coaching, applied the concepts and training um, in the different courses and have achieved success. Um, I am always upfront with everybody and I let them know income disclaimer results are not typical. Then again, um, I don't view myself as typical and neither should you. If you do zero marketing, I can tell you chances are you will get zero results. Okay. And with marketing, there is free, uh, th there's free marketing and, uh, there's paid marketing. All right. I always go free marketing and do the whole quotation thing because it, it, it will always cost you something. And it's either going to cost you dollars or it's going to cost you your own time. So it's one of the two. Um, but, uh, you know, there are channels where you do not have to spend a, a dollar uh, it, and you'll be able to get leads. For example, this is an example of a lead magnet, um, which has Anthony's contact information on there. It drives them through his web page. And he can also use this and repurpose this content to um, uh, to build a list of bird dogs or a list of wholesalers um, who are interested in the real estate niche, right? So he is, you know, he's applying our concept here of um, uh, under the quick start challenge, right? Anybody just getting started on the internet is going to have some questions. Well, how do I buy a domain name? Well, we got a video for that. What do I do a web hosting? Oh, we got a video for that too. So. From an investor standpoint, he's applied that and he's asked himself, well, if I'm a new investor, what do I need? Well, I'm going to need a phone system. There's paid and there's free. So he did a video for Google Voice, right? So hopefully you guys uh, get that one. Um, okay, cool, Pat. Thanks for the, uh, for the, uh, the, the feedback. And uh, we'll definitely get an email out to you. Um, do you have a good contact number we can reach on just in case the email bounces or we can't uh, get a hold of you? Um, that way, please uh, let us know so we can jump all over that. All right. Now, the social media links that are on here, um, the last time I had uh, reported with the group, um, some of them weren't working. And um, that's because if you make an update or change to your website, sometimes it applies right away. Other times, it'll take a few hours before the updated version loads. So when you update your social media links and the profile, you will have to just put your username on all of these except for Google+. Plus. Just follow the, uh, the recommendations in the background um, when you log into your WordPress site on what type of social media to use. Um, I did have to start up new accounts with some of these uh, social media um, companies. Like I restarted a Pinterest account and then I'm also going to build out uh, a new YouTube channel. Um, so we are good to go on that one. Um, join us now live. Uh, for this, I am going to be building out um, a particular uh, squeeze page on the join us now live. I want to always be able to capture um, leads as they come into my business. And since I am focusing on how to build an income producing website, okay, or to generate income in the form of blogging, then we are offering a, uh, a webinar series that people can jump on to get value and content, right? Um, and this Join Us Now Live button, I will set up a, a nice little squeeze page on there um, that people would be able to click, see what that's about, and automatically sign up. 
And um, I'll talk more about that on a different session. But there were people asking me, get response or webinar jam, what should you use? Um, I would actually lean towards uh, webinar jam if you can make that one time purchase because they're offering 50% off on their retail price points. And in addition to that, um, when somebody opts into the squeeze page, uh, double opt-in isn't required. It automatically gets added into your GetResponse uh, account, which I think is pretty awesome. With lead pages, they have to subscribe or confirm uh, via email. Um, unless, and most people don't know this, unless you call GetResponse and say, hey, um, this is the campaign I've put together. And um, is there any way to get it on a single opt-in? And they will actually do it provided it's a good valid campaign and um, you you know these are actual customers that um, you can make a case don't need a double opt-in for right so for example when you're offering a live webinar series okay and you're doing it on a regular basis as a form of training and coaching those are the type of campaigns where they're like oh yeah makes sense no need to do the double opt-in one-time registration you're good to go so just a little bit of a tip for you guys there um, who is live on this session uh, with us, okay? Um, last but not the least, okie dokie. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Anything else uh, with regards to your respective websites while we have everybody uh, live on today's session? Um, resources, this is, so for those of you that have already made progress and you have a chance to update, the rest, the remaining portions of your website, I would go ahead and use the resources section and I would actually start posting uh, different banners on here on vendors, courses, products that I have personally purchased and use. And uh, that way you can make some recommendations on those tools and, um, you know, generate uh, other offers and uh, online uh, sales or income uh, by tagging those banners, making sure that you get credit for those particular sales. So I'll show you um, what that would look like here uh, in a couple of days. So if there aren't any questions here from the group, don't want to keep you on longer than required. As promised, we're going to keep this session here pretty simple and straightforward. I talked about a free method, which is the forum strategy, which will um, not only build your uh, credibility online, but in your following, um, but these will actually convert into um, uh, subscribers and from subscribers, paid customers into a long time, um, you know, if you have a high end coaching on the back end, or if you're, uh, if you're offering uh, uh, more one on one uh, training, it allow them to move forward through that funnel. And so this and encourage you to eventually branch out and open your own forums um, and, and groups, because once you get that going, it's pretty awesome. It's like a steady stream of dedicated eyeballs uh, on whatever you post on that particular day, right? Um, so definitely apply the forum strategy, rewatch this video if you need to on some, uh, on some tips. And if you wanted to see samples of forums, uh, in real estate, uh, the only one that I would be comfortable recommending for now, just for you to start out in would be, uh, in the wholesaling houses, full time forum. Uh, all the other forums I think are just, uh, there's either not much participation or people have spammed the forum to death and there's just a bunch of junk on there and um, spam type of plugins um, or uh, personal info grabbers. So do check out the forum strategy um, and start to you know interact and engage in these forums uh, as a free tool to build your subscribers list. The desired outcome is to for you to move from sending people friend requests to getting those friend requests uh, coming your way. Okay. Now, one, please do take this to heart and apply it because we're going to start doing Facebook paid advertising. I'm going to spend a whopping five bucks next week and to test out um, how some of our campaigns are converting. Um, I'd be comfortable promoting this site uh, as it is already. I just want to fill in the remaining sections. Um, but by the time I've uh, added more stuff to it over our next live series um, and um, by next week, this should be good to go to promote. Cool. All right. So nothing else is popping up on here. Let me go ahead and make sure we got any good contact info. Going, going, going.
Lauren, any other tips, updates for the group? Give us a preview of what's coming your way, please, on the solo ads uh, that's coming up. And um, if you have any other topics you wanted to give every, uh, everybody uh, an idea of what you're going to be reviewing so that they can mark their calendars or at least take note of which replays to watch in detail. For sure. Can you guys hear me? Loud and clear. Awesome. Okay, perfect. So kind of summing up that thing with solo ads, it's, um, so we talked about there's three aspects to them. First, it's the list, which we already covered. Then it's the offer, which we talked about yesterday. And then coming up is going to be what you actually need in the email, um, which also ties into, you know, a little bit of uh, influence and kind of going from there and the power of sales. So we're kind of going to that direction afterwards that you can apply, not just to a solo ad, um, but to, you know, other marketing in general, which definitely can tie into what you're going to be doing next week, which is Facebook ads. So all of that is just kind of what you want to go into the different ads that you're placing. And then just an FYI, I have a networking event tomorrow at noon, so I probably will not be on the session. Oh, all righty. Cool. So that's what we got coming in from Lauren's segment. She handles the business component and client, uh, you know, and, and uh, entrepreneurs that are either uh, that have their own companies are um, or um, professionals, right? Uh, do do do. Let me. Somebody has a good question on the posting stuff. Um, Kelvin, to answer your question, uh, I would recommend you first start with the WordPress websites. Okay, uh, this is the file right here. And it's got the title, okay, that you need to keyword so that you can upload the videos or embed them rather, okay? And um, you'll uh, these are the embed files related to each video. So um, start with that portion of the website first, a quick start challenge. Um, what, and let me know once you've gotten all these videos up and placed on your site. So start with this one first. Uh, this is the easiest to copy paste and get a page up and running, right? The uh, original noon playlist goes into the detailed version. Um, I'm still going to be making some changes uh, to this particular segment. Um, but I would start with the quick start challenge, the WordPress instructional videos uh, uh, to start with your particular posts. I am typing that right now in the chat line, or at least I'm responding to your question. Please go ahead and confirm that you got it. Okay, and I'm gonna see you jump on here and it'll tell me once you click on that link and get access um, to the file, all right? Yes, eventually you will have a, a fan page that I would recommend uh, you will be setting up. Um, and I'll show you how, you know, we've, we've got how to videos on, uh, on Facebook. Um, so that would, uh, definitely help you out a ton, uh, as we move forward here. So do not worry about Facebook. In the meantime, get some meat on the bones on your sites. Mm -hmm. Um, Mr. Bell, you good to go? Did you get that link? So you can start your posting, please confirm. We're just hanging out here. Uh, making sure you guys did get access to all that. Ah, one other viewer, anonymous user. I am guessing that is you, sir. Or it could be somebody else on this session. Now, the best way to copy-paste is to click File, make a copy, and this will make a copy onto your desktop, uh, onto your Google Drive file, and you can now edit these particular files. We did not give you guys edit permission to this original file because if you type a wrong number on there then the videos will not be embedded successfully. Uh, Lauren, did you get the contact info that I sent over? Oh, I thought that was actually for Steve, but um, yeah, I can copy that down too. All right, cool, cool. So, oh yeah, I'm reading the messages wrong. But yeah, um, definitely give the, well, okay. So, okay, I missed that message, uh, that chat thread on there, but want to make sure you guys have access to the contact info that I typed on there. Um, Kelvin, you good to go on your end? Yes, thank you. Okay, awesome. Get this hammered out cool. first. Okay, get it hammered out first um, because 
baby steps, baby steps before we go major bananas uh, and bongos uh, on this particular pipeline. Um, we will be having live workshops uh, that will cycle every 90 days. We're working on a 30 day cycle for some workshops, but those are just based here in California. Um, it's not a major scale uh, like we have on the 90 day cycles where we have participants flying in from around the world. Um, so definitely look out for that. Um, we'll send you guys details. Otherwise, it seems like it's business as usual here for the group. Fantastic. Uh, there will be contact information right here on the video if you're interested in getting started with our group coaching component. Maybe you want to have a conversation on how can my website produce more income? How can we sell more of our product, of our service? How does this apply to me as a business owner? Or you know what? I just want to learn how to make money blogging. Those are the types of questions and conversations that I love to have, and so does our team. So do give them a call, send them an email. There'll be an opt-in box right below this post, or if you're watching it on YouTube, it will be in the description portion of this particular video. My name is Gil, and let's get a, a quick goodbye from Lauren and Steve. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye, guys. All right, Lauren says goodbye. Steve, you still there? You are on a hard mute. Let me unmute you, my friend. All right. Well, I already wasted my good goodbye, but That's bye, everybody. Right. <laughs> <laughs> bye, so you're like, I oh, I didn't hit the record button or I was on mute. It happens to me all the time. But uh, fantastic, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out with us uh, here today. And um, do apply the form strategy. Uh, if there's any additional files uh, that you can uh, swipe, you will get an email. In the meantime, the only files that you should be working on uh, and not moving forward is to get your quick start portion up because these videos uh, are put together based on a particular sequence, which will allow you to monetize it um, due to the affiliate links uh, that you can use as part of these instructional videos. You can make your own version if you are comfortable and ready or have the time to. If you don't, then we've eliminated the, uh, the, the, the excuse or the challenge that you cannot. Um, if you can copy paste, then um, you are good to go, my friend. So with that, my name is Gil. Thanks for hopping on. And ooh, I know we had some other big updates and announcements, but I think I'll save those for next week. All right, so awesome. So we're good to go. I'll see you guys first thing tomorrow, 12 noon. Do hang out with us tomorrow. We might just do something crazy and uh, put out some really cool stuff. It is my birthday tomorrow. And normally on such life events, we do some pretty cool stuff. Either we release content, we'll do a crazy promo. Um, and, um, I don't know, we haven't quite, uh, we haven't finalized what we're going to be doing here for the group, but I'm pretty excited about that. And I might actually use that, um, for a launch sequence, uh, to drive more hits and traffic to the site. So I'll share with you guys how that has panned out. Um, I do have a pending campaign at the moment to drive, I would say a few thousand, uh, in terms of traffic, uh, you know, a few thousand visitors to the website. Uh, and to a squeeze page. So I'll report how that one goes here to the group as well. The last time uh, we, I had done uh, a particular uh, campaign of that size, um, we ha I had uh, personally um, over 60% opt-in rate on the squeeze page. And so um, we want to rerun the test, see how we do, um, and how quickly we can monetize that list. So thank you very much, everybody. We'll see you on the next live session. Bye-bye.